Hello, Pace family. This is Elizabeth from Upward Roots. Thank you for the opportunity to share an update with you today. Before I dive in, I do want to acknowledge each of you. I hope that you and your loved ones are all safe and well right now. I know this is a very challenging time for us all. I think we're all doing more with less right now, less time, less quiet, at least for me less of what we are used to. And speaking personally, I believe this is a reflection of, of my privilege. When I think about our youth, their families, our educator partners, our after school agency partners, they are really stretched to the max right now. And I can't forget this image I have from a story a teacher partner shared. One of her students joining school for the day, video on, holding her infant sibling in what seemed like a textile closet, clearly at work, caring for her infant sibling and attending school. Going to school online is challenging for all children and families right now, but, essential, but especially those children whose parents are essential workers and relied on school for community, care, food, shelter, and learning for their children five days a week. These realities are informing our response right now. They're informing how we partner the content of our curriculum and our expectations for the year. There are four verbs that are central to us as an organization, I think right now. Innovate, customize, respond, and be patient. This means we've undertaken a complete overhaul of our curriculum and accompanying materials to be responsive to the moment and accessible over video or distance learning. We've also created a digital toolkit so that our facilitators, our teacher partners, don't have to create anything on their own. We've redesigned our changemaker journals to provide a near independent participation option for those with connectivity issues and also dual online, offline engagement opportunities as well. If you sign up for Upward Roots, you receive a, a Changemaker kit now. We've already packed and distributed 200 to our partner sites so far this year. There are more robust, reimagined version of those packets of joy you all supported last spring. Our program is very healing centered right now, providing youth with the opportunity to name and process their emotions but also build community and connectedness with their peers. This is something they say over and over again that they need, they're craving connection. They miss school and their friends. They're ultimately still taking positive community action together. And right now we have several groups planning service projects around some of the most pressing issues our society faces, police brutality and systemic racism. They are in this moment and they are eager to meet it in their own unique way. It is exciting and inspiring to see their work. Yet there are challenges right now for Upward Roots too. One of the most significant being funding uncertainty. We have lost key funding as a result of the pandemic and I anticipate that that may continue. Thus, I believe our greatest organizational need is patient and flexible funders who are willing to provide unrestricted grants for Upward Roots to continue innovative, innovating, excuse me, customizing, responding, while also being patient as we walk together on this journey of uncertainty. I thought I'd share just a few examples of work our young people are doing right now before I sign off. Hopefully this isn't taking too much time, Erica. Thank you. Thank you for your time and continued support. <laughs> Bye-bye.